Hi, I'm Ned Kelly. Welcome back for part three of Prayer Basics. Today, we will be discussing the basic fundamental skill in prayer of shifting. Now, the shifting, I'm talking about changing your awareness, a pivot of perspective. That is the shift from fear to faith. The shift of focusing on lack or dis-ease to focusing on abundance prosperity, health, wholeness, and life itself. You do this for yourself in your own prayers, and of course when you are praying with others, you are facilitating them and helping them and making that shift in their consciousness, in their point of view. Now I'm also talking about an expanding or an opening up in consciousness and awareness. A few notes about doing that shift for yourself and for others. You might need to try baby steps. So instead of making the hugest transition, you might need to take a couple of steps along the way. For example, if the person is praying for prosperity, you and they're coming from a place of complete doubt or lack consciousness, instead of making a huge jump, you might want to start with praying, how can we be grateful today? And gratitude, by the way, is a great way to pray for and about prosperity. But start with, what can I be grateful for right now in this moment? Invite your prayer partner to be grateful. Let us give thanks for the opportunity to pray together. Let us be thankful for this day, for this breath. And then you continue in and open up that gratitude in bigger ways. Now, by shifting, I also mean shifting the person into prayer. So that's before the, the prayer itself may actually have begun. You may need to gently guide the person away from the telling of the story and the details and invite them. Why don't we take that into prayer? Let's lift this up into God or however you want to word that. Another note about the shift is not to discount where the person is coming from. So if the person is making statements or having thoughts about fear or lack or doubt or whatever it is, whatever their experience is, you want to be sure to honor it. Go back and see part two, talking about listening and connecting. So you validate where they're coming from and gently make that shift with them. You never want to say, oh, no, you don't think that way or no, you can't say that. You validate and then you make that pivot with them. You're holding space and making that pivot in prayer with and for them. I mentioned the shift can also refer to an expanding in our awareness. That is an opening up in consciousness from a sense of separation to a sense of oneness from the personality or ego to that which might free us in our Christ consciousness, in our Buddha nature. Here are some ways to facilitate that expanding and opening up with a, a person who is re requesting prayer from you. Perhaps asking to give thanks for a recent success they had. Join with them in giving thanks for that victory. And then expand that. Open that up for giving thanks for all of your gifts. All of the blessings of God expressing in us, through us, and as us. Perhaps someone is requesting prayer about protection, wishing for safekeeping during an upcoming journey. Pray with them about safekeeping for that journey and then expand that consciousness of safekeeping to all matters for, for themselves and for all loved ones and for all whom we are blessing. Affirming and knowing the power of God protects us everywhere, all the time. So we're expanding that. We're opening up that consciousness of prayer, ultimately to remember the truth of oneness in all matters. I hope some of these thoughts have been helpful for you in your process of prayer and in praying with others. Join me next time for part four, the conclusion of talking about prayer basics here on Light for the Light Keepers. Namaste.